SRI uh, stands for uh, smarter approaches to reinvigorate agriculture as an industry. Before, we don't have this kind of technology and uh, it's time to use all the implements uh, that we could uh, lay our hands on to elevate our agriculture from the present state that we are in. I think the development of agriculture in our industry is uh, uh, a large range of variability and basically uh, we need uh, this kind of technology to really be more precise in uh, the technology that the farmers could use to be more productive and be more profitable. That's why it's called precision agriculture. So basically, Sarai is precision agriculture. Uh, recommending to the farmers specific steps to take, uh, measures to implement in order to maximize or optimize his productivity in his area and particular season. So this is uh, uh, now possible with the technologies not only in agriculture but even tapping on the uh, improvements in or the uh, works in physics in engineering and uh, in uh, in all sorts of uh, in all sorts of fields which have a bearing on on crop production because crop production is uh, determined by several factors no and so uh, this is a multi-sectoral, multi-college, uh, multi-expert uh, collaborative project and this is the first time in fact that we'll be doing this all for the service of agriculture and elevating it to be truly a competitive industry. Project 2 is about environmental assessment and uh, project 1 is about modeling. So actually these two are very complementary. Uh, the results from project two will be very material to the out to the output or to the recommendations in in project one, which is the modeling. So we need to provide the the colleagues in project one the necessary characterization of the environment in order to make their model work and uh, we know that in this time of uh, climate change uh, we have to be truly and on the dot uh, sensitive to what's happening in the environment so that we could make a better prediction and better recommendation as what the farmers should take should uh, this expected uh, environmental changes could happen. And so in environmental, in environmental assessment, uh, uh, the, the results will be very uh, variable and uh, we have to be on our toes uh, as to what uh, uh, would be, we think should be addressed to the project one. And in project two, we also plan to make uh, a demonstration of the uh, package of the different components in precision agriculture and show to the farmers that it works. So projects one and two are uh, basically one coin with the different uh, faces, the head and the tail. And uh, in addition to, to that, in terms of uh, helping project one in modeling, we plan to demonstrate in project two uh, what will really come out of if we put in all these different components of technology. So hopefully with that then we have something uh, hopeful <laughs> to the farmers and uh, we're not saying that uh, this is uh, the solution to all. There are still uh, other factors that are being addressed by this, by this program but uh, it is uh, a fairly innovative start in terms of uh, making things work better for the farmers and for the country in totality.